Apple's implementation of the touch bar on the MacBook Pro lineup is great. Not only can you access detailed controls as you would with hardware buttons, but the advantages of app-specific controls like keyboard autocorrect and for creative apps like Photoshop or DaVinci Resolve shouldn't ever be overlooked. But have you ever wanted to customize it a little and add your own feature here and there and fix its shortcomings? Yeah, me too. So let's look at how you can change that with my favorite touch bar apps. As we all know by now, there's apps that can run the Dino Jump game, Nyan Cat, and even Pac-Man. But after the five minutes of fun you can get from them, you might find yourself wanting something a little bit more useful and something that can help you be more productive. One of the biggest issues I have with the touch bar is that there's no tactile feedback like you'd get with physical keys. And that's where an app called Haptic Touch Bar comes in, as the most simple of all the apps that I feature today. This app simulates the feedback of pressing a button through the utilization of the trackpad's haptic engine as you press any button on the touch bar. You can choose between four levels of intensity, my favorite being level two, and the response delay is pretty much unnoticeable, so this feels exactly as Apple should have implemented it. With automatic startup, a login, and the option to hide the menu window completely, you can pretty much cover up every part of this app and make the haptic feedback seem as though it's natively built into macOS. At $4.99, it's a little bit pricey considering it only serves one function, but it does that function easily and without any fuss whatsoever. I did find an alternative that I'll link down below, but that lacks the customization of the intensity of the feedback. Second up on this list is my personal favorite app. This is POC. POC is simple. Its primary function is to show the dock in the usual blank space, but it has some hidden features that make it absolutely amazing. Whilst all your apps appear in the same order as the native dock, you have options for control center functions like brightness and volume, as well as status icons such as the network, battery status, and even the date and time displays. These features are particularly useful for times when you're in a full screen app and want to check the basic information without interfering with whatever you're watching or working on. And I'm a big fan of this functionality. My favorite feature is the now playing widget, which allows easy play, pause, and track skipping in an elegant way and automatically hides itself when nothing is playing. What's even better is that you can adjust the way in which these widgets display themselves, which adds a really great layer of customization, but it doesn't even stop there. You can choose your own spacing between the apps from the dock section, add or remove any of the optional widgets, including the entire control center section. Toggling between POC and the normal touch bar window is as easy as double tapping the control button, and the best part is it's completely free. Although the animations for brightness and volume control aren't perfect, POC is by far the best free app out there for its function set. And speaking of great apps, this video was sponsored by PDF Element, the number one PDF editing software for Mac. PDF Element is not only cheaper than Adobe's equivalent, but it offers a cleaner UI experience, a powerful toolset, and complete control over every aspect of your PDF files. With PDF Element, you can edit any piece of text with full formatting as you'd experience in a word processor, you have full image control, including the ability to save images from a document, as well as creation and signing of forms, redactions, highlights, and comments of documents. All of this and more without an Adobe subscription. PDF Element is a full-fledged PDF document editor, and you can accomplish so much more than you'd expect, all within a single app. From annotation to document creation, PDF Element is a complete package that offers the highest level of customization to new or existing PDF documents. As a complete solution that offers you the easiest experience with editing and creating PDF files, you can get 40% off PDF Element in the link down below. If you're into multitasking and suddenly realize that despite everything macOS has in terms of gestures, multitasking is mainly achieved through command and tab as a shortcut, then the next app on this list is perfect for you. This is Touch Switcher. Implemented as the App Store logo within the default touch bar UI, Touch Switcher is an easy way to switch between your currently open apps and access all your recents easily, all without having to switch to a new app like with POC. Although yes, it's simple, the convenience it provides is not to be overlooked. Just as you'd expect, there are options to open at login, but pretty much no customization is available as the app isn't designed to take over the touch bar, but rather to just add a specific function. So if you're in an app like DaVinci Resolve and using this, it doesn't stop you from making the most of the touch bar's functionality. Possibly the best app on this list, and definitely my favorite on this list, is Better Touch Tool. And it provides everything you could possibly ever need from the touch bar, and it almost combines every app that I've covered so far, along with a million more features, into one single app. Personally, I found it easier to use one of the literal thousands of presets available online as a simple way to get the most out of the touch bar without spending hours customizing things. And the end result can be incredible. You can choose to have everything you'll need all in one place, with music controls, weather, date and time, airdrop, spotlight search, literally everything all in one, or you can go minimal. 
The presets that are available are great, and if you don't like something, it's as easy as removing it, or you can add something that a preset may not have. Better Touch Tool is the most powerful app on this list by a mile. Gesture control for volume is accessed with a two finger swipe on the bar, and it changes in smaller increments than the usual slider does. And brightness control is done with three fingers. This is one of my favorite additions, as it brings the cohesion between the gesture control on the trackpad to the touch bar, and it really ties the whole device together pretty damn well. With my favorite preset, which is called Golden Chaos, when you hold the command key, it displays the dock on the touch bar. Holding option gives you the window position and resizing controls, and the control key brings up these system-based settings, such as airplay, night shift, dark mode, screenshot functions, and more. If you don't want Better Touch Tool to be active for a certain app, there's a setting for that, and it's in the status bar, which makes it really easy. It works on an individual app basis, which means you can turn it off and on as and when you need it. There's a 45 day free trial within Better Touch Tool, and a full license starts at $8, which is incredible considering you get two years of update support. Not only does this app provide the most extensive customization for the touch bar of any app on the market, you also get increased controls for haptic feedback, customization of spacings all the way down to pixels, and a flawless animation experience. Better Touch Tool is pretty much the only complete accessory for Apple's touch bar that I found, and it is, in my opinion, the best app that you could possibly use if you actually want to overhaul the touch bar. Of course, if you're not looking to completely rewrite the touch bar and its functions, then the other apps that I recommend here may be a better choice for achieving a few more functions without losing the default looks and the default functionality of the touch bar. Whichever way you choose, all of these apps give you a much more convenient experience in the touch bar, and they sort of tie the whole thing together in a way that it should have been when it was released. If you're not using one of these apps, then you're missing out on a much better user experience, and you're probably missing a much more intuitive use case that can be achieved with these apps on the touch bar.